Howdy, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Disc Barn. I am super excited to talk about Drug Church's album, Hygiene, today. It's one of my favorite releases of 2022 so far, and I just saw them on Saturday, so I'm still riding that high from seeing them live. I feel super lucky that I got to see Drug Church live in the way that I did. Most bands skip by Tucson and go straight to Phoenix, so I've got to drive two hours to go see these concerts. Um, also, Drug Church doesn't seem to headline very often, and unfortunately, I missed their hygiene tour earlier this year. But they decided to do a run of small tours in places that they don't play very often, and Tucson was on that list. They played to like 60 people. It was very intimate, and it was amazing. They played their hearts out, even though there was hardly anybody there. Um, I'm super grateful to them that they added us to their stop. I wouldn't blame them if they didn't add this stop ever again but I'm glad I got to see it. And it was a really special experience for me. Um, and I highly, highly recommend you go see Drug Church Live if you ever get the chance. I'm dying to go track by track and talk about these songs. But first I wanna show off this pressing I have of this album. It's got some of the grossest cover art that I've ever seen, but I think it really fits the tone of this record. Um, I have a blue and yellow and white pressing here. I think this is a really nice pressing, really happy with uh, getting this one, it matches the cover art uh, very well. Inside, you've got some uh, more photos to go with the record on the lyric sheet, and all of the lyrics are printed out here, so it's nice and easy to read along if you want to. This does spin on 45 RPM, so if you end up snagging this record, make sure that your record player can handle that. All right, so it's finally time to get into this track list, starting with the song Fun's Over. The second I hear that guitar riff going, my head starts bobbing. I just can't help it. I love this song. I love the lyrics on here. It's about uh, struggling to find the next big thing, maybe frustrations with the creative process and how a lot of the times it feels like you're grasping at straws. I think it's a really cool message and it's delivered uh, in Patrick's signature vocals, but this time tied to an absolutely killer hook. I think this is a perfect way to start the record. Makes me excited to hear more. And this is a real standout on this album. That, for that reason, it's an easy A tier to give this track to. It leads right into Super Saturated, which has about a second of guitar distortion that feels like the band taking a collective deep breath before delivering what is probably the most fun 30 second stretch on the album. Uh, by the time Patrick's vocals kick in, um, I'm just having a blast with this song and I get hit with lyrics that maybe are a little too close to home. This is a song about the choice that everyone has to either follow their dreams or give up on them and the consequences of making either choice and how it can, it can feel like a lose-lose situation. I love the lyrics on here and I think it matches perfectly with the heavy guitars and the shouty vocals from Patrick. This is a perfect song. It's an S tier track for me. And this is what really made me realize that I was in for a treat with this album. Sometimes I will listen to Super Saturated so many times in the same listen that it takes me a while to get to the next song plucked. Um, but when I finally do, I always enjoy this song. It sounds like the drug church that we heard on Cheer. Um, this is a very noisy and aggressive track with more biting lyrics from Patrick. And even halfway through the song, the, his vocal delivery completely switches up. And I think this makes for an enjoyable listen. It's a very short track, which I think is a strength of it. It doesn't overstay its welcome. Um, it's not an S tier track. It's just an A tier track for me. Just solid all around. The next song, Million Miles of Fun, was released well before this album came out as the lead single and gave us a glimpse into what we could expect from Hygiene. It's short, it's catchy, and we've got uh, maybe the most melodic vocal performance that we get out of Patrick for their entire career. Uh, this is what a more accessible drug church was going to sound like. Um, this made me think that they definitely fit on Pure Noise Records. And when I heard this, I was stoked to hear this album come out and it didn't disappoint. And of course, they played this song live the other night and it was a blast to hear and sing along to. This is a really awesome track, easy A tier song. The next song is called Detective Lieutenant. And this is sure to be a lot of people's favorite track on the record. I think it also has the potential to make a bunch of people upset when they read the lyrics. I, for one, think this is a very, very special track. Even if the lyrics are simple and Patrick's opinions are laid bare in this song, uh, it doesn't leave a lot for interpretation of what Patrick thinks. I come away asking a lot of questions about my own beliefs and my 
own thoughts about art and the artist and the meaning that both parties are assigning to art. Uh, it, it makes me think a lot and that's what I want out of a track. And it's definitely not something I expected to be asking going into this, uh, going into this song and this album. So this is a really nice surprise uh, to hear on this track. I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of different interpretations from this song, especially in the context of the whole record, because even though Patrick's opinions are very direct, maybe even on the nose here, um, the rest of the album uh, makes it not so clear. Uh, and I'll talk about that as we get into those songs. It's not just the lyrics here on this song that are perfect. The instrumentation here is also a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, it starts off with the guitar riff that sounds like it's in the Wild West, um, accentuated by the production, which is very echoey in that opening seconds. And it ends with a full band um, crescendo with the, with the final chorus delivery. And it is the best way that they could have thought of to end side A of this record. A fact you would only know if you had the vinyl version of this record. And I know that I've talked about Detective Lieutenant for longer than the runtime of the song, but there's a line, the very opening line is about how someone's draws a square and the onlooker assigns it meaning. I think that's what they did here is they just drew a square and I'm listening to it and I'm seeing a landscape and a beautiful portrait watercolor painting, but all it is is a pencil drawing of a square. But that's what's great about this song. That's what's great about music. I love when that happens um, with music. And I'm excited that I was able to share how much this song meant to me. But for now, let's go on to side B. Let's talk about the next track, Tiresome. Before I do that, if you're getting any enjoyment out of my terrible opinions, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you loved their previous album, Cheer, you're going to really like this next track, Tiresome. It's loud, it's aggressive, and it's frantic. Of course, it's got killer guitar riffs and some biting lyrics from Patrick. The highlight being the final two lines uh, on this song, which can either be read as a terrible play on words or a brilliant play on words. I happen to fall in the latter category. This is an awesome track, easy A tier song for me. The next song, World Impact, tells a pretty compelling story about a failure and you can really feel all of the influences instrumentally here. It's got some super heavy guitars. You can feel the punk rock, you can feel the metal, you can feel the hardcore influences on this track. It's a great listen, easy A tier for me. The next song, Premium Offer, is my favorite track on this record. It's like a companion piece to Detective Lieutenant. Um, it's got me asking questions in the same way that that other song did. Uh, even though Patrick makes it very clear what his belief on the subject he's singing about are, I still walk away from this song asking questions about my own beliefs um, and wondering how, why does Patrick feel the way that he does? Why is he so angry at these people? And I do, I do come away understanding it a little bit. And every time I listen to this song, I get a little more out of it, which makes this a really compelling listen every time. And it's a track that I always look forward to hearing. It's also got a critique on a certain group of people who maybe are just begging you to make mistakes so they can tear you down. It's, it's got one of the most biting criticism on these people that I think hits the nail on the head. And all of this culminates in a song that I feel very comfortable giving an S tier to. And of course, after doing all that self-reflecting, after listening to Premium Offer, the next song, Piss and Quiet, is going to make fun of me for it. It's like it's saying, hey, man, don't hurt your arm patting yourself on the back, okay? It's got some super frantic vocals and guitar work. It's over really quick. It's my least favorite song in the record because I'm mad that it called me out so hard. Uh, still, this is an A-tier track. It's a fun listen. And when I get to the end of an album this strong, I wonder if they're going to uh, stick the landing wimp out and just do an instrumental outro uh, or if it's going to be a bad song and of course drug church is going to put another one of their best songs and hardest hitting songs uh, as the very last track athlete on bench is the perfect closer to hygiene 
Athlete on Bench is the only song that even sniffs four minutes, but I think it earns every second of that runtime. It's the perfect culmination of this album. It's everything that the band has been working towards and on this record and probably in their careers. Um, Patrick's vocal delivery here is desperate, which matches perfectly with the lyrical content here. It's about feeling worthless, feeling useless, maybe finding success at one point, but just knowing that your time is coming to an end. You are living in margins that are shrinking by the day. And you're questioning, uh, what is your existence uh, when you're unexceptional? Rings home with me. I think that's going to ring home, ring true for a lot of people. I hope that a lot of people get a lot out of this song. And this is another S tier track for me. This is my second favorite. I think that this song, Athlete on Bench, Premium Offer, and Detective Lieutenant are a great run of three tracks that make this album go from great to exceptional. And in my opinion, this is going to be a record that I'm going to be listening to for years to come. What do you guys think? Was Hygiene a standout release of 2022 for you like it was for me? Am I completely off the mark? Let me know how terrible my opinion is in the comments. Call me a poser for only liking Drug Church's most recent releases. Um, but please go support Drug Church in any way you can on Spotify, Apple Music. Just stream their songs, buy their merch, buy their music. And please, if you get a chance, go see Drug Church live. I'm begging you. They are amazing. I, I want them to come through, and I want to see them play to 200 people, not 60. And I want to see a full hour-long set from them again. I hope that wasn't the last time I'm going to see an hour long set from Drug Church. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and give this video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know what I should review next. And until next time, I will see you guys then.